I get it. You want your Power BI visuals to work right out of the box. And if you use map charts, then you'll get error messages like this. Now, there are two reasons why you might get that. It can be turned off at the organization level, and it is actually turned off by default when you first open Power BI. So my name is David Benayim, and I have tons of videos on Excel, Power BI, Zoom, Google Sheets, Teams, using Tick of the Workplace, I'm covering my channel. So let's look at how to fix this. So let's start with the easy method. So if I go in here, if you see this error message that says map and field map visuals are disabled to enable them, go to file option and settings, option global security, then this is something that you can fix on your application. You just follow the instructions. So file, options and settings, options, and then in global, you go to security and you tick this box, use map and field map visuals. And if you do that, restarting the application should mean that they work. However, it's a harder thing to fix if you see this. Map and field map visuals aren't enabled by your org. Contact your tenant admin to fix this. You can click see details. It's not that helpful. Essentially, it says the same thing. So in order to do this, then it needs to be done on Power BI Online and only the person who has permission rights as your tenant admin can actually do this. Let's go into the tenant settings and see how that looks. So if you go to this website, app.powerbi.com, and if I go to this button, I can choose admin portal. And then here, this is how you can fix it. Now, if you have tenant level permissions, then you can see all of these things. However, most users do not, and you'll only see a couple of things, which means you cannot fix this yourself. However, the person who has rights can scroll down to integration settings, and here are the map things. Or you could just filter and look for map, and this will get you here. The field map and map visuals, this is the most common one, the oldest maps that Power BI had. You can enable that, you can enable this, and you can enable this. You need to click apply, and then it will tell you it'll be about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. Click apply, and then in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna reopen it and show you what it looks like. And there you go, now you can see our map visuals. Now, a couple of tips. I would go to the formatting pane and more options, and then I would always make the bubbles bigger for this kind of bubble map chart, just so they don't overlap. So something like this is too much, but as long as they don't overlap, then make them as big as possible, I think. Also, I don't like the that it's too colorful compared to everything else. So I tend to go to map settings and then choose grayscale. Or if I have a dark theme, I choose the other one. I take off show labels and I turn on category labels like that. That's for this one, which is the globe one called the map. This one is called the filled map. So this one's also a little bit difficult to use. I will always use the grayscale as well, but I will find a way to make them different colors. And to do that, you actually have to go to fill colors and choose the gradient usually and yeah i only have two but if you had a middle color then this is good and it will show you a scale depending on it all right so i hope you've enjoyed that video my name is david and i have tons of videos on excel powerpoint google sheets zoom teams if you're using tech of the workplace i'm coming to my channel